Hi, and welcome to SITREP, Army news that affects you. After the 10-day trial at Fort Hood, Texas, Army Chief of Staff General Mark Milley approved sleeve rolling. So effective immediately, soldiers are allowed to roll up their sleeves. Sleeve rolling will be at the commander's discretion, and there are no time or seasonal limits. Now, make sure the camo is facing out, they are rolled neatly, and no higher than three inches above the elbow. Sleeves can also be worn down and cuffed at the wrist upon commander's approval, but only in the field. Just in case you need a little help, here's our quick how-to video. There are a lot of questions out there concerning the sleeves, and Army G1 has the answers. What if a soldier has tattoos on his forearms? Well, as long as the soldier's tattoos are already in compliance with regulatory guidance, there is no issue with tattoos being displayed when the sleeves are rolled up. Can a unit be mixed with rolled sleeves and long sleeves based on an individual's preference? Or does it have to be uniform across a unit? Commanders will make that determination when it comes to what to wear with regard to the soldier's duties and workplace. Local commanders will of course advise soldiers appearing in formation what the required uniform is so everyone appears to be uniform. If it is at a commander's discretion, what level of command? This is handled at the battalion and company level. Of course, installation or senior mission commanders may dictate local policy across the entire installation. Let us know what you think about the new look, or if you have any topics that you need more info on, hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. Sergeant Santana out. In the mission, number one.